Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. This is my third attempt to say thank you. This is the third prize in the giveaway series that we are doing. And it all is just to say thanks and to spread generosity throughout this hobby. What I've done is I've compiled a list of different things that a watch enthusiast might enjoy. And I'm giving them away across these six different videos of which this is the third one. Now we'll put a link right up here in the corner to the original giveaway guidelines and rules where I talk about everything in more detail and the overall summary of this giveaway series. But a quick recap, six prizes, six videos, everyone is eligible to win. It is completely free. I'll cover shipping cost, even international shipping. I just want other people to enjoy this hobby the way that I do. And I'm hoping that some of these prizes will allow you to maybe expand your hobby into something that you haven't done before or haven't, you know, already included. So with that, the first prize was a man and his watch. I recommend going and checking out that video. We'll link it right up here if you're interested in that one. Just subscribe, like, comment in the video, and you'll be eligible to win that one. The second one we had is kind of a journal and a collection memoir book. It's called My Watch Memoir. And so again, we'll link it, go subscribe, like that video, comment on that video, and you'll be eligible to win that one. And now in this third one, I picked this one almost selfishly because I am trying to expand my hobby into not just watch repair, but watch modding and maybe even some watch making, you know, taking apart movements, doing some of that kind of stuff. Now, I don't know that I'm actually going to go to like watchmaking school or anything, and I don't think I'm going to get to the degree where I'm like lathing my own parts or anything. However, I definitely want to do more than just enjoy the watches on my wrist. And so what I did was I put together a watch enthusiast kind of starter toolkit. And I just want to talk about this real quick. Now, here, let me open up my drawer. Y'all are going to notice that a lot of these things I use on my channel and I found them to work really well. And that's the reason why I got them. Now, some of these things can be upgraded. And so I've tried to give you some like this is the upgraded piece to whatever would come standard in this kit. And so we'll talk a little bit about that, but it starts down on the bottom. If you can see, I have a blue silicone mat for you to work with. Now, let me just pull it up here because I've got one. Bergeon makes this and you could see it's like a watchmaker's toolkit mat whatever and it, you know it's got padding on the underside and i use this when i work on my watches but the more that i looked into them the more i think that the bergeon is a little small for my taste i have two of them that i put side by side but then you end up with a crack down the middle but they make these silicone mats you can order them on ebay or anything else and they make them in larger sizes and so you can really spread out and have some room to work and you can set, you know, your bracelet off to the side or your pins or whatever you're dealing with and you can keep it all on the mat. So I wanted to start with that silicone mat. And then the second piece was this toolkit. So this is one of your stereotypical, you know, watch repair toolkits. You'll find these on Amazon and eBay and all kinds of other places. I started out with one kit. I can't remember if this was this exact same one, but it was just like this. You'll notice there are subtle differences across different ones. For example, instead of having a three prong case back holder here, it might have a two prong with a flat here. Let me see if I can find mine. All right. It might have something like this in it, a two pronged approach. Um, the other one that I would recommend, it probably comes with a small hammer here in the kit. You'll see it comes with this small hammer. I upgraded to a larger hammer. This might be actually like a gunsmithing hammer, but it works well with the two sides and it's got other things that you can put on and take off. But anyway, this isn't necessarily about all the, the toolkit stuff that I have and use. I can do that in another video, but it really is to say, this got me started and this is all I had to work with for quite some time. 
and it works well. In fact, this kit probably has more tools in it than you're going to use, depending on if you try to, you know, replace bezels or, you know, maybe you're not going to crack open the case back on your watch. Maybe you just need these punches down here in the screwdrivers to resize your bracelets. Uh, I definitely recommend learning how to resize bracelets because going to a store or an AD or something to have that done is really just not needed. And in many cases, I'm more careful with my bracelets than some of those other stores and professionals would be, I should say professionals. And so, yeah, so, so these are simple tools. You can do them yourself. You'll notice there is a spring bar toolkit in there. Tweezers. Definitely. I use the tweezers. This is here for you to hold the strap. This is a case tool in case you want to do that. This right here will help you do pins if you don't want to use the punch and block, right? So you have some different options in there. It's got a bunch of extra spring bars up there. If I'm honest, I wouldn't use these. They're cheap and they're rickety. And I recommend if you're going to replace your spring bars, do it with some really good ones. Seiko makes some good ones. Um, several people out there do, but yeah, get, get good spring bars. Don't skimp on that. But anyway, so this is a starter cool kit. So we've got the silicone mat down here in the bottom. We've got the tool kit and then it didn't come with it, but I love this digital caliper. The caliper heads itself, they're not metal, so it shouldn't mar your watches. I still am careful with them. You'll see some people do a little trick where they either put tape on these so that they they won't scratch the edges. But with these being more of a polymer, you shouldn't have any problems with that. And they're digital, and I find these way more accurate and more easy to read than some of the ones that have like the sliding scale you know, up here. And so I recommend this. I got an extra one to throw in the toolkit. And then last but not least, this is the first thing that you want to upgrade when you get one of these kits. Over time, you will probably outgrow some of these tools. It's just like when you have tools for a garage or for a car or whatever else. You start out with something and then maybe the more involved you get into that aspect of tinkering and whatnot, then you might upgrade to some more specific screwdrivers. You may upgrade to, uh, you know, some other like Bergeon is the name everybody goes to, but there are other watch tool manufacturers out there other than Bergeon. But for example, yeah, you might end up with a pair of Bergeon screwdrivers or something like that. But in this case, what we have is the Bergeon 6767 and F, which I believe stands for fine tip. Like when you come down here and look at the tip, this is the, well, one of the two best spring bars that I'm aware of out on the market. Now I have the Bergeon 7767F. And if I hold this up kind of next to it, you'll see that my, the knurling goes all the way down compared to here. It's kind of on inserts there, but either one of these and you can't go wrong. You really can't. So I probably will do a second video just showing these two compared side by side next to each other. But for this one, I just want to mention that in this giveaway, you've got a toolkit, you've got a silicone mat, you've got a sweet upgraded spring bar. This one here should last you your entire life. If you need to, you can replace the heads on on it, but I've had mine and I'm digging into it with stuff and I've never had a problem or had to replace mine. And then of course the digital caliper, because you never know, I'm always measuring case sizes, lug to lug, but most importantly, I measure strap width your lug width right here so that you can get the right size straps and order what you need. That's what you want to be able to measure because you want to get whatever fits most commonly 18, 20, 22, but you're going to find some like an Orient it might have a 21, my grand Seiko 19. So yeah, but you can get in there with this digital caliper. You'll know exactly what you're working with. With that, if you tinker with watches, you know, do you think this is a good starter pack? If you don't tinker with watches, is that something that you might want to try out? And if so, this kit right here, I think is pretty sufficient and pretty cool in getting you started, getting you down the right path. So as all the other giveaways, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below. What do you think of this? Would you actually use it? And if you comment, you're then eligible to win. All right, my friends, until we talk again, please remember what really matters and that that's not watches. Keep the insanity sane.